as I now stop and think about Katrina, it's almost shocking to think that it has been five years. When the levees broke, I was absolutely mortified by the TV images that I was seeing coming out of that uh, city. Just amazed that uh, people were able to survive in those, con in, the, in those surroundings, in those conditions. It was such an overwhelming um, response. I don't think anybody could have not helped, you know. It, it really opened up a lot of hearts and minds. It was like nothing I had ever seen before. Areas that were completely flattened. Um, total devastation. We saw these large shrimp boats on top of people's homes, out in the middle of fields. Our, our organization had never been in such a sustained, long-term response as that. And the Red Cross did so many wonderful things on so many levels. We fed 30 million meals. We housed 1.2 million people. We provided $2.1 billion of direct financial assistance to the families that were impacted. The best way to improve the lives of those people is to get them back into a situation where they can improve their own lives. It's my opportunity to uh, provide psychological first aid, help people assess what their next steps were going to be. You know, sometimes that's all they need. They just want somebody to hear them in all this chaos that, you know, they're not forgotten, that somebody cares. And we do. We care. We welcome 2,500 families who evacuated from the Gulf Coast area and came here in hope of finding families, jobs, and a new future. We provided meals, we helped them with lodging. Um, we even did things to try to help them have a sense of themselves, like we organized a trip to Giant Stadium so that they could see a Monday night football game between the New Orleans Saints and the New York Giants. And, and some of them stayed, approximately 900 of those 2,500 families ended up becoming residents of New York or the metropolitan area. We also had a call center very active here, where we took some 19,000 calls from people in distress. People on the roof calling us and saying, uh, we're on the roof, we're surrounded by water, and we need to be rescued. So throughout our chapter, whether it was uh, volunteers on the call center, or volunteers helping in the service center, or working with people who had evacuated here, we were very connected uh, to the people who, who uh, needed our help. We saw that, unfortunately, we were now confronting disasters on a much greater scale than we had ever imagined before. As we realized as an agency, even as big as we were and as great as we were, that it wasn't enough. It drove us as an institution to realize that we had to become really good at partnering with other agencies and not-for-profit groups. I've been assigned in other uh, disaster responses and I've seen a real improvement in tapping into local resources, understanding local people and local cultures. The next hurricane that rolls around, we're prepared. Uh, and we know how to perhaps get to people a little better, uh, how to manage expectations, and how to um, you know, really do what we're supposed to do uh, as Red Crossers and to help people. It was a tragic experience, but it was also a very heroic and inspiring experience and it was also a very educational experience about where we have to be moving to as a country, where we have to be moving to as the Red Cross. The experience of Katrina made me so utterly grateful for everything I've ever had in my life. I learned a lot of humility, uh, a lot of grace, and a lot of gratitude. The best part of volunteering was knowing that uh, I could contribute in a very selfless kind of way. It is really now something I know will be a part of my life forever.